Hello, and welcome to session four in this online course taking you through Laws of Form by George Spencer Brown. In this session, we'll be looking at three theorems from chapter four, which are very basic, but lay the foundations for some more advanced work later on. Theorem four states that the value of any expression constructed by taking steps from a given simple expression is distinct from the value of any expression constructed by taking steps from a different simple expression. Now, this is a very complex way, unnecessarily complex way, of saying you've got two simple expressions, the marked state and the unmarked state, and the value of one is not going to be the same as the value of the other. Let's see how this looks visually. Space S can have an expression like this in it. Well, in this case, the two adjacent marks can condense, the two nested marks can cancel, so it reduces to a marked state. Or it can have an expression that's like this. The nested marks can all be cancelled, and it reduces to the unmarked state. So that proves the theorem. Theorem 5 is about identity, and he states that identical expressions express the same value. And he proves it by theorems 3 and 4, agreement and distinction. In any case, he states x equals x. x will either be marked or unmarked. Now, this may seem like common sense, but he puts a little footnote in. Previous authors, he says, had to take x equals x as axiomatic. I am the first author to prove it from his axioms. Now I'll leave it to you to go and do the groundwork and see whether his claim stands to scrutiny. We go on to theorem six. Expressions of the same value can be identified. Well, this is saying that x equal v and y equals v can be stated. This is the same as saying that Albert Einstein, and the person who came up with the formula E equals mc squared are one and the same. It's pretty simple, really, but what he's doing is laying the groundwork for more complex operations to be done later on. And we'll start looking at even more theorems that build towards that in our next session. See you then.